This is Gary Group with Lax Philly. I am with one of the most charismatic people I have ever met, the head of Thriller Nation, the one and only Bill O'Brien. I want to thank you for your time with us. So now that you've been in the Arena Lacrosse League for a few games, what's the talent level like? You know, it, it ranges. There's guys who should be on NLL rosters, and I think as more jobs open up next year with New York and Halifax coming in, you're going to see an influx of the ALL guys filling those roster spots. Um, so there's a huge range. I play against some great talent, and then there's guys who, you know, are working on their game and getting better each and every game. So it's exciting to be a part of the league. So this is a good feeder league then for the NLL? Definitely. I, I would say that there's guys in this league um, – Josh Becker, Alec Thomas, you know, these guys could be playing in the NLL, and, and given an injury, given something, uh, just an opportunity. Now, we've heard the chance recently of Sign O'Brien. It's been in New England. Now it's in Philadelphia as well. Any news on a return of Thriller Nation over to the NLL? Uh, hopefully soon. I, uh, you know, nothing's been cooking behind the scenes too much. Um, I'm putting myself out there. I'm working out hard. I came up in the ALL to stay in shape and, and improve my game. So hopefully uh, hopefully, I get a shot here soon before the deadline. Now, playing physical is your game. With the NLL clamping down on rough stuff, fighting, and things like that, how important is it to keep that physical element in the game? You know, it, it's definitely part of the game. Um, I, I would hate to see lacrosse get soft. I don't think that's the case, but um, there's still some, uh, some bangers in the NLL now, like Steve Priolo. Um, you know, so Andrew Suter, those guys, they play tough, they play hard, and I think that that elevates the game. You know, I think that makes the offensive player, these high-end goal scorers, work even harder, do more creative things to get by and, and score goals. So it makes for an all-around better game. So with the coming expansion, do you think that the, the talent of the league, is there enough talent to fill the rosters, or is it going to water down the product, do you think? I don't think it's going to water down the product. There's guys, there's lines at the door. Um, guys in the ALL are going to be able to play in the NLL. And like I said, it's a great league. It's, uh, it's, we got great coaches, NLL caliber coaches. So it's just a matter of time. As more teams come into the NLL, you'll see those roster spots fill quickly, and uh, it'll be an easy transition. And another big question, what's next for Bill O'Brien? Going to keep stay on the grind, Gary. You know that, brother. <laughs> stay on the grind. Keep training hard. Uh, wait for the next opportunity. So that's cool. it. Now, you always end your podcast with a diss or that. I got a diss or that for you. Would you rather have a great coach or coachable players? Coachable players. Because at the end of the day, um, you know, most coaches have a good idea about how the game is supposed to be played. And they have an idea of how they want to run their team. So... The problem comes to uncoachable players. They're unable to adapt or do or execute what the coach needs. So it's huge to be coachable out there and uh, listen to the coach and be able to execute on floor. Again, I want to thank Bill O'Brien for taking the time to talk with us. This is Gary Group for Lax Philly. My man.